What is up guys, and in today's video we're taking a quick look at the ASUS ROG Keras 2 Ace. This is a nice ergonomic mouse offering from ASUS. We took a look at the ROG Harp a while ago. This one is more of a symmetrical shape made to kind of compete with the uh, G Pro Wireless and some other symmetrical mice of the sort. But uh, this one is made to compete more so in the ergo space. And it is pretty surprising too. It weighs like 54 grams, super lightweight, and the build quality is very solid as well. And it has a few advantages over some other ergos that we've took a look at recently, like the Pulsar x Lite V3 and the Lamzu Thorn. Starting off with some of the features that make the Keras 2 Ace special, this mouse does come with tri-mode connections. So you have a USB direct connection that supports up to 8,000 hertz polling rate, 2.4 gigahertz wireless connection that supports up to 4,000 hertz polling rate, and then a Bluetooth wireless connection as well. You don't have to use ASUS Armory Crate application if you don't want to. This mouse works just fine without it, but it is good to check it out every so often to make sure you're not missing any crucial software updates that can help with the mouse's performance. We'll get into the performance a bit later. Now, what's also nice is that you also have a dedicated slot for your 2.4 gigahertz dongle, but the 2.4 gigahertz dongle has a couple of tricks up its sleeve. So this is your standard dongle uh, extender that you would normally use just to get the dongle a little bit closer to you than let's say the back or top of your PC. And then this is the polling rate booster. So if you want to use the 4,000 Hertz wireless polling rate or the 8K wired polling rate, you have to make sure that you have this plugged in and then obviously connect, you know, the mouse directly plugged into this or the 2.4 gigahertz dongle. Inside the box, you also do get spare mouse gates if you would like to use larger mouse gates. And then this mouse also does weigh in at 54 grams, which is quite low. And I would say it's very competitive with some of the other mice as well. Let me take the dongle out because the dongle is about a gram itself, but 54 grams nonetheless. And then compared to, let's say like a very similar size and I would say like similarly aimed product, like this is the Pulsar x Lite V3 Esports Edition. So this mouse weighs in at 66 grams, but this one does have like an OLED screen and there is a uh, really not any software for it either. And then this is the Lamzu Thorn and the Thorn weighs in at 52 grams and it's also a similar size. But some things that I do like about the Asus in comparison to the others, um, this mouse wheel is RGB, so you do have that, and it does get pretty bright as well, but usually I keep it pretty low just to extend the battery life as much as possible. And then also these side grips. Um, and this one, it doesn't really do too much for me, but I do appreciate this one a lot. This one on the right side of the mouse definitely does help to give you kind of a bit more of a locked in feel in terms of your grip on the mouse. But these, of course, you know, on both sides do help as well, but I definitely do appreciate it here because I feel like on some of the other mice, after a while, especially mice with a bit more of a satin coating, I feel like you can start to lose your grip a little bit, but this one having a more matte coating and these extra grippy areas does do a really good job. Now, one more thing that comes inside of the box of the mice are these Asus grips, and these are pretty good. Like they're not super grippy, like the Pulsar Super Grips, like these, literally you put your finger on it, you're not going anywhere. This is a lot more liberal, but it will increase the grips. If you are looking for a less smooth finish, honestly, I just like the grip of this mouse naturally with nothing on it. But if you do want to get a little bit more grip, obviously they give you the grips in the box. The ROG Aimpoint Pro sensor goes up to 42,000 DPI, which is just, it's extremely high. Like I don't think anybody's going to be playing on 42,000 DPI. And then these optical clicks, they just feel and sound a little bit more sophisticated than I guess I'm used to them feeling and sounding, but uh, they're good, spammable, light, everything. I don't really have any complaints about them. The side buttons definitely do feel and sound a bit more mechanical than the front two buttons, but they're pretty interesting. Take a quick listen. And then here's the ROG Harp Ace for uh, comparison. Lambsu Thorn. And then let's go Pulsar X Lite V3 ES.
And then here inside of the Asus Armory Crate, let's see here, let's go to the calibration. This tab is pretty interesting. I, don't, I have not seen this on, honestly, many other mice at all, but you can adjust the liftoff distance between low and high. But what's interesting is that you can change the calibration depending on if you have one of Asus's uh, mouse pads. They have it tuned for each mouse pad, or you can do a manual calibration and move it around on your mouse pad. I didn't have any problems using mine on just this regular default no calibration setting, but I did think that this was pretty interesting. So if you do find yourself to have any kinds of connection issues, you can try and calibrate it yourself with the manual calibration if you don't have one of the listed mouse pads. In terms of the performance from the Keras Ace, I really don't have any issues at all with the performance. It was very good. Mice nowadays are all getting very, very good. More or less for 160 bucks, you get a ton of value out of this mouse. I will see you have a top tier sensor, 4K and 8K Hertz, polling rate support inside of the box. And then you also have great build quality with those extra grippy sides. The RG Omni receiver is also a really nice um, addition as well, because if you have multiple ASUS devices like a keyboard and a mouse, you can use one dongle for the connection of both those keyboard and mice like the ASUS RG Falchion 2 that we took a look at a while ago. And then if you aren't really a big fan of using the ASUS Armory Crate, you can use those built-in onboard controls so that you don't have to open it that often. And you can just open it for like your essential um, updates and whatnot they may come out you know every few months just to make sure that you've got the best performance but basically 160 bucks gets you a really good ergo mouse from asus i think this is a pretty good option i would like it to be you know a little bit lower in price but it does offer some things that the other mice in a lower price range of even like 30 bucks don't include so if you do travel a lot i do think it would be worth spending the extra 30 bucks for something like this you're gonna get a very similar design with really good Good performance and even some additional benefits.